I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further. It's hot now. Paul, oh, punches a throw. Paul and Rondo throwing punches. Ingram comes in. He's throwing punches. Extenuating circumstances, perhaps. Uh, Jokic returning the favor. It, uh, it's been however long it's been, and, you know, I'm back now. And like I said, I'm grateful to just be able to play basketball again. Life as an NBA player is a double-edged sword. While it brings fortune, fame, and intense competition, it can also breed ego clashes and personal conflicts. Players hailing from diverse backgrounds and personalities don't always gel. Be it teammates or rivals, heated rivalries have simmered for years, sometimes escalating into public feuds. This video delves into some of these explosive clashes where bad blood boiled over on and off the court. Kobe and Shaq. Shaq and Kobe, a duo of dominance, joined the Lakers in 1996. Shaq, a titan in his prime, met Kobe, a raw 18-year-old. Their chemistry on the court was undeniable, leading to three consecutive championships, 2000 to 2002, under Phil Jackson. And the Lakers are the 2000 NBA champions. We finally got a championship and it feels great. But as Kobe matured, his ambitions grew. He craved a lead role, both on the team and in the league. This sparked tension with Shaq, who felt Kobe didn't respect his seniority. The 2004 Finals loss to the Pistons became a turning point. Kobe, frustrated, essentially forced a Lakers hand. It's him or me. The Lakers chose Kobe, getting Shaq to Miami. The once unbreakable bond fractured. Shaq and Kobe became bitter rivals, their animosity spilling onto the court and beyond. Shaq, while winning a championship elsewhere, was reportedly pissed when Kobe added two more Laker titles in 2009 and 2010. Jordan and Thomas. Rookie sensation Michael Jordan stormed the NBA in 1984, earning an all-star nod. But established veterans, led by Isaiah Thomas, weren't thrilled. Rumors swirled of a deliberate freeze-out during the game, igniting a rivalry that would burn for years. Pittstons and Bulls became playoff antagonists. Detroit's infamous Jordan Rules physically challenged MJ, derailing Chicago's title hopes thrice. Finally, in 1991, the Bulls triumphed, breaking the Pistons' hold and propelling Jordan to league dominance. However, the animosity lingered. Jordan publicly called Thomas a, and rumors persist that Jordan blocked Thomas from the 1992 Dream Team. Today, decades later, the tension remains. Thomas downplays Jordan's GOAT status and bristles at seeing the Pistons sport Air Jordan-branded uniforms. Whether their feud stems from a rookie snub or deeper issues, its longevity is undeniable. Paul and Rondo The Crisp vs. Rohan Rondo rivalry wasn't just an on-court spat. It was a clash of two alpha point guards fueled by competitiveness and personal animosity. It all began in their early years when CP3, a rising star with the New Orleans Hornets, now Pelicans, crossed paths with the Celtics' fiery leader, Rondo. Both known for their fierce competitive spirit and trash-talking prowess, a 2013 altercation sparked the flames. A heated argument led to ejections, a one-game suspension for Rondo, and a simmering dislike that refused to die. Their careers took them across the league, but their underlying tensions wouldn't budge. It reached a boiling point in 2018, when Paul's Rockets met Rondo's Lakers. Punches flew, tempers flared, and the two needed to be pulled apart. While some found amusement in this drama, many yearned for the rivalry to unfold on the court, not in off-court brawls. Guys, my favorite point guard, Chris yeah, Paul, man. <laughs> Chris Paul, man. What's up, man? Who? You ain't Chris Paul? Nah, who are you? Oh, you ain't Chris? Westbrook versus Beverly. Point guard battles often ignite fierce rivalries, and none more so than the Westbrook-Beverly showdown. In his prime, Westbrook, a force of nature on the court, was nearly unstoppable. Enter Beverly, a gritty defender with a chip on his shoulder, determined to shut him down. Beverly, honed through his European stint, built a reputation for tenacious defense, sometimes pushing the boundaries of clean play. 
of a spark ignited in the 2013 playoffs when Beverly's aggressive steal attempt on Westbrook resulted in a torn meniscus, sidelining him for the rest of the run. Many viewed it as a dirty play, and the animosity simmered. The two continued to clash over the years, their intense on-court battles reflecting a deeper personal dislike. The unthinkable happened in 2022 when they became Laker teammates. Would their fire die down? Did their shared jersey extinguish the rivalry? Well, they became best friends. Jokic and Morris The 2021-22 season saw an unexpected rivalry flare between Nikola Jokic and reigning MVP Marquise Morris of the Miami Heat. During a regular season game, Morris delivered a hard foul on Jokic as he ran down the court. What followed was a chain reaction of heated exchanges. Jokic retaliated with a shove, sparking a melee on the court. The tension spilled over online, with Marcus Morris, Markeef's twin, calling out Jokic on Twitter. Jokic's brothers, known for their protective nature, even created a Twitter account to defend their brother and challenge the Morris twins. The animosity reached its peak when the Nuggets visited the Heat later in the season. Thankfully, the threat of further confrontation fizzled out, but the incident left a mark. Green and Cool Normally, NBA rivalries simmer between players on different teams, but in 2022, a shocking incident within the Golden State Warriors exposed the hidden tensions brewing inside the championship organization. A leaked practice video revealed Draymond Green punching Jordan Poole, sending shockwaves to the league. The motive remains unclear, but the incident resulted in Green's suspension and a public apology. Despite the apology, the rift between Green and Poole remained. Their contrasting styles and perceived generational differences seemed to fuel the discord. Ultimately, Poole was traded at the end of the season, leaving many to speculate whether the punch played a role. Garnett and Martin High school phenom Kevin Garnett quickly became the NBA's ultimate trash talker, his constant chatter grating on many opponents. Years later, Kenyon Martin, a force in the pain, entered the league and found himself facing Garnett, a target for KG's verbal barbs. Both fierce competitors, their on-court battles were a spectacle. Garnett, an MVP and all-star, relished facing Martin, who often felt he didn't receive the respect he deserved. Though their rivalry never turned physical, it simmered even after retirement. Martin, outspoken and unafraid, called Garnett a miniature chihuahua and a porch puppy, surprised when the usually fiery KG remained silent, showcasing maturity. Garnett and Anthony Kevin Garnett's reputation as a trash talker preceded him, and Kenyon Martin wasn't his only target. In 2013, Carmelo Anthony, known for his fierceness, found himself entangled in a heated exchange with KG during a Celtics-Knicks game. Shoving on the court escalated to verbal barbs, and a rumor emerged that KG made an offensive comment about Anthony's wife, Lala. This crossed a line for Anthony, who vowed to confront KG outside the arena. Aware of the potential volatility, Knicks security prepared for the worst. Thankfully, cooler heads prevailed, Anthony and KG reportedly talked it out, avoiding a physical altercation. Barnes and Fisher Sometimes, personal lives and basketball collide, leading to explosive situations. Such was the case with Matt Barnes and Derek Fisher, former teammates on the Lakers. While they seemed friendly, the dynamics changed when Barnes' wife, Gloria Govan, filed for divorce. While Barnes accepted her moving on, he was upset with the way it unfolded. Barnes and Govan had twins living with them in their house while the divorce was still pending. One day, Barnes learned his former wife was with Fisher at the house, a current teammate. This sparked a heated confrontation that escalated into a physical altercation. Tony Parker and Barry The San Antonio Spurs, once a model of basketball brotherhood under coach Pompovich, were rocked by a personal scandal in 2010. Star point guard Tony Parker, an NBA champion and beloved figure, found himself embroiled in a cheating scandal. His wife, actress Eva Longoria, filed for divorce, citing infidelity, adding fuel to the fire. Reports revealed Parker's alleged affair with Erin Barry, wife of teammate Brent Barry. The close friendship between the couples and Brent's presence at Parker's wedding made the betrayal even more shocking. The scandal shattered their relationship, tarnished Parker's image, and divided the team.
Despite the controversy, the Spurs chose to retain Parker while trading Brent Barry. Whoa, that was a whirlwind of intense rivalries. From explosive on-court clashes to behind-the-scenes drama, these NBA feuds captivated fans and left their mark on the league. But the question remains, who do you think had the most epic rivalry? Was it the heated competition between Kobe and Shaq? Or the personal animosity between Jordan and Thomas? Maybe Westbrook and Beverly's fiery battles took the cake? Or perhaps Jokic and Morris's unexpected clash surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's debate! And while you're at it, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss another deep dive into the fascinating world of the NBA.